Oh, shit talking mushrooms. Don't post that on YouTube. Hey, what's going on? Oh, I made muffins. I made cheesy muffins for breakfast. You made muffins? Yeah. Well, those look good. So, uh, is everybody up? No, Leland's not. Leland's not. Okay. Everyone else is. Ah, <sighs> Leland needs to get up. Someone's at the someone's at the door. Oh, Leanna. Leland! Yeah. Muffins! Yeah. Muffins! Yeah. Oh, we got muffins. Cheesy muffins. Hi guys, I'm just hanging out here in the back of the house. It's a nice day today. Nice spring day. Uh, we just had Memorial Day yesterday, so today's a Tuesday. Uh, we got a bunny somewhere. Bunny always hides from me. Oh, there you are. Copper, is that your name? I don't remember now. It's Leanna's pet. She's just hanging out in there. Let's see how many dead uh, bugs we have in here now. Whoa! Those are all mosquitoes. Wow, it's really working. Whoa. I like this thing. This thing's awesome. So, yeah. A lot less mosquitoes now biting me while I'm out here and it's it's been nice love this thing this thing's the best investment ever yeah some of them are still just oh flying gosh, around so in there wild. but it's a massacre it's a mosquito massacre oh yeah look who's back in the land look who's back in the land of the living is my hair from the back standing up uh not as bad, but holy cow, you need a haircut. Like, look at that. Like the side of you. I can't even see your ear. We gotta get your haircut, boy. A moment of peace and harmony in the house when all three kids get along. And they're just playing quietly. No fighting, no arguing. They're just all there chilling. Huh? Stay in there. You guys can just stay in there. I'm enjoying my peace and quiet. With no kids. The whole hawk apart, you know? The whole... Just entertaining themselves. I love it when they entertain themselves. Okay, will you ask Liano if she wants Chick-fil-A or Del Taco? I want Chick-fil-A. Oh, okay. What do you want? You want chicken strips? Hi. Hi. Huh? Chicken strips. Okay. <laughs> I want to grab some shelves and then we'll be home soon. Okay. Okay. This car doesn't want to move up. So no. we can't order. <laughs> the can order you, box. Can you scooch up so I can order? Oh, oh, there we go. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. Now we can order. I, I need a... Alright guys, so uh, <laughs> we've been all over town today, uh, so we got a bunch of shelves that are neatly stacked on my side of the van, so now the van's lopsided, and we got Carol on this side, and we got groceries there in the back, and right now we're trying to go easy on the curves. Which is not easy around here because we have to drive around a mountain. Yeah. So that way these shelves here don't slide off and crush our food. So we'll see how this goes. Ah, uh, we've got these curves on the side of the mountains. Oh. Gotta be careful of the shelf. This top one I'm worried about. Kind of hanging over. It's hanging over a little bit. You can kind of see there at the end. There's four, uh, yeah, four shelves. Barely fit. I mean, look at that. That's the top of our van. All right, we made it home. The shelves are still. Yeah, make it up the driveway. Oh yeah. Easy. Ah, oh, those birds are pigs. They ate everything again. <laughs> I filled that up yesterday, and it's already empty. I have to buy more birdseed. Oh. Sure, so silverware is not behind us. 
Oh God, you just ran over the cat. Stop it. I'm just kidding. You a crunch? Can I stop here? Yeah. Oh. A lot of food. A lot of food. All right. Hey, can we go to GameStop? Ah, you're funny. Oh, Here, give me more than just a single box. I am. Oh, I hit my head. Uh, can we go GameStop? We can. There's still a pandemic. All right, guys, so I'm in the basement and I'm going to be putting some shelves together. So let's time lapse this. Let's, let's do it. Trying to put these shelves together. I uh, got a couple of them behind me. Still got another box right there. I gotta do. Hi, London. <laughs> so we're gonna have uh, we're gonna have our food storage and supplies down here. Turn this last shelf in, maybe. Alright. Where's that mallet? Okay, I think London took it out fun. I gotta go grab my mallet real quick. Alright, hey guys, so I've been wanting to go to GameStop since they just opened their shops again. So I'm gonna go to GameStop and pre-order the PS5. So I'm gonna make my way. Cause I really want that PS5. Bye guys. Uh, sure. Okay. All right, let's go. Coming GameStop. I'm tired. Kind of hard to drive with one hand and film at the same time. To be honest. I want to I get that PS5. And no one's gonna stop me. No one's- Oh, I- What the- Oh, 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 oh Um. <laughs> First I thought that was Carol who ran me over, but then I looked, it was freaking Leland, he took the van and... Oh god, oh, my knee. Oh god, I was just out here walking, that van just came out of nowhere. God, I was just, I was just walking right there, and the van came out. God, I just want one normal, non- Painful day! Carol! Carol! What? Leon took the van, he ran me over! He took the van again? And he ran me over! Is my van okay? Uh, am I okay? Well, you're you're standing, I'm assuming you're fine. Okay, uh, my knee hurts. Well, knee hurts. Why did you run in front of the 
van. I, I was going around the corner there in the front, and Leland took the van. You're missing the point. Where did he go? I have no idea. Oh. I have no idea. What do we do? Are we supposed to, like, call that our van's missing? I don't know. Call McDonald's, call GameStop, call... Uh, I don't know. Where else does he go? Uh, Chuck E. Cheese? There's, like, I don't know, three places, but... I gotta sit down. I gotta ice my knee. Excuse me. Is there any ice? I need something. Oh, God. Oh, right, now, right now it's corn on the knee because it's really hurting. Oh, God. He ran me over. This is the worst. You have to stop getting in front of the corner. I didn't know he was coming around the corner. It's a blind spot. Oh, oh. oh. Hey guys! So while Lee's uh, up icing his knee, oh God! Yeah, he's having some problems. We wanted to give our shout outs to our new captains for our memberships. So if you Yay. haven't seen, you can join. We have different membership uh, levels. One of them being captain, and you get shouted out in our videos. So we have a few we wanted to give shout outs to today. So the first one, it's going to be Ryan Grover. Hi, Ryan. And who's our next one, Liana? The next one is Cool Guy 2600. Hey, Cool Guy. Next one is Khalid Awesome Videos. And then Liana's got the it's next Daniel one. Daniel McCoach. Daniel McCoach, hello. And then we've got John Markin. And it is happy birthday, John. It's your birthday. Oh, poor Lee. All right, who's the next one, Liana? Alexis. Townsell. Yeah. Alexis Townsell. Hi, Alexis. And then our last one today, it's James Bates. So, hi, guys. If you want to get shouted out in an Oshitaki Mushrooms video, check out our membership. Become a captain, and every month we'll get to shout you out. Oh, God, I hurt. Well, that's what you get for getting ran over by the car. Well, when is he going to come back? Hopefully soon I'm making dinner. Making what? Okay, well, what are you making? I'm making chicken waffles. Wait, are we having waffles or are we having chicken? Yes. Which one? Chicken waffles. Wait, wait, uh, they're not making any sense again. We're having chicken waffles. Those go together? Apparently, and we're going to try it. We've never had it before. It's new. How's the deep frying going? Uh, doing okay. Gotta get this cooked. Taking forever to cook. I'm telling you, when Leila gets home, he is grounded. I don't know where he went, but he is in a lot of trouble. Oh, he and he ran me over on top of everything else. I'm home! Dinner! You're home? Where have you been? Where have you been? I've been at GameStop! What? What? For what? For PS5! You have to pre order that. I'm pretty sure you can do that online. You didn't have to drive there. You ran me over! And you didn't stop to see if, if I was okay? Nope, because yeah, I knew you were okay. I was not okay. You My knee okay hasn't now. been the same. You're grounded. I'm, gonna I'm telling you, you're grounded. Give me that knee. Hey, you stop stealing our van. Where are the keys? Oh, oh about that. No. What do you mean, what do you mean about that? What do you mean uh, about that? I got hungry on my way home, so I went to get... McDonald's. We're having dinner! And I gave them the keys because they said that's what they needed. You gave away what? So you I gave away my van? You gave away the van? For uh, McDonald's? What? Yeah. God, I gave up on a normal day! You know, my life's not normal and neither is my dinner. Like, what? I, I don't know what I'm having here. This is chicken and waffles? Like, okay. You put the chicken on top of waffles? I don't even know if I'm having breakfast or dinner! I'm confused! I just want one normal meal! I don't know. Is it any good? Alright guys, so uh, shifting directions here a little bit. Um, as you guys know, my granddad, Granddad Bill, passed away a little over a week ago. 
And at the end of my, I don't think it was even my last video, but the video before that, I mentioned it. Um, anyway, Uncle Jay took the time to edit out and put together kind of a little memorial video, kind of a compilation collection of old home footage, including some, some of the videos you guys have seen on our channel of kind of the, the best moments of Granddad Bill. So I haven't seen it yet. Um, I'm going to do like a reaction video to it just to ch capture, capture it all. So I haven't seen it yet. But anyway, I'm going to go grab my laptop and uh, you and I will be watching it for the first time together. So let's check it out. All right, got my laptop. All right, let's do this. I'm lost the words, choked up here a little bit. That was really good. Um, that really captured it right there. I needed a few minutes uh, just to kind of pull myself together. Uh, that was very emotional for me, guys. Um, but it was well done. So I appreciate Uncle Jay taking the time to put that beautiful video together. Uh, I just want to give you guys kind of a quick little update on what's been going on here with the family and what our plans are heading into these next several weeks. So I've been in close contact with my parents, especially my mom, during the last week or two, especially after uh, Bill's death. And um, what's been going on is that um, they've been in contact with the funeral home over in England over in uh, Canvey Island, that's where Bill lived. And um, his funeral is planned for June 5th. So that's coming up here really quick in just a few weeks. Um, there's still a lot of restrictions over there. Um, just like anywhere else really with the whole coronavirus and everything that's been going on. Uh, a lot of places are still closed. Uh, a lot of hotels, restaurants. Um, are closed um, as far as I know there might be some places that are just barely starting to open up but it's still very restrictive um, airline travel right now traveling is just near impossible right now Carol and I we've been looking at flight plans um, as well as my parents and my parents are planning on going definitely um, I've been in contact with um, Uncle Jay uh, my sister Aunt Haley from the brew crew um, none of them are able to, to go for various reasons and we're kind of in that same situation too guys um there's just no good direct route right now to even fly out to england it's very limited there's a ton of connections um last year when we flew out to england it was non-stop we were able to just book a flight from salt lake to heathrow airport there in london and it, it was 
it was a breeze, guys. Piece of cake. Um, <laughs> now it's a lot more complicated. A lot of these flights have been canceled um, due to just, uh, you know, the whole coronavirus and the complications regarding that. Um, my biggest concern, guys, is that there's still a ton of cases in Europe, in England. Those were some of the hot spots here. Um, there's still a lot of cases there as well as here. And my concern is, had I gone, I would have probably just gone with my parents and uh, Carol would have stayed home with the kids. Uh, my concern is, I don't want to bring something back. I don't want to get my family sick. That's my, that's my concern. And that was basically Jay and Haley's concern as well. We all kind of share the same concerns. Um, fortunately, we've been in contact with the funeral service, the, the home over there. They are planning on doing a live Zoom of the funeral. So we decided that we're just going to just stay here and watch the broadcast of it. I mean, it, it, it does, it, it breaks my heart, guys. It breaks my heart that I'm not able to go there in person. Uh, it's just, it's too complicated right now. With everything that's been going on, it's just a really bad time right now. And uh, Bill, Bill deserved better, frankly. And he just couldn't, all this could not have come at a worse time. It's just, it, it's sad. It breaks my heart. And um, I mean, my mom wasn't even able to be there by his side during his final hours. It's, it's, it's sad. He, he deserved better. Um, anyway, guys, um, I, that, that, that's what's been going on. It's, it's been, uh, it's just been really emotional for me. I, I've been a wreck this last few weeks, guys. It, it's been really hard on me. As, as the oldest grandchild, I've known Bill for nearly 40 years. And it, this whole thing's just been really, really hard on me. I'm just trying to pour through this. And we'll, we'll get through this, guys. It's just been really difficult for us here lately. Um, anyway, that's, what, that's what's been going on. I just want to kind of share a little update with you guys. So uh, we're not going to England for just health concerns and all that. Uh, safety concerns and all that as well. So um, anyway, we are going to be watching it on Zoom. And um, we'll, we'll just go from there. Uh, my mom is planning on... Uh, Bill. Bill's going to get cremated, guys. Just like uh, Nanny did 10 years ago. And my mom still has Nanny's ashes. She She's planning on bringing them back over here. And we'll have a proper burial, hopefully next year. So we'll do like a proper thing then. Uh, hopefully when things go back to normal, guys. So that's my update. Um, I appreciate you guys' support. I read all your comments in the comment section and it's been very uplifting, guys. So I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs>